Thursday, March 4th. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are now in the second week of Lent and the second week of sharing in our devotionals related to listening with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. This week has focused on contemplative practices, those practices or disciplines that we incorporate in our lives, uh, those activities that directly connect us and give, an, give us an increased awareness of the holy in our lives. Today we focus on silence and listening, particularly as it relates to intercessory prayer. Silence and Listening by Robin Brent I found I had less and less to say until finally I became silent and began to listen. I discovered in the silence the voice of God. Soren Kierkegaard St. John the Cross was first credited with saying, Silence is the first language of God. Thomas Keaton went on to add, Everything else is a poor translation. In order to understand this language, we must learn to be silent and to rest in God. We can't fully appreciate the importance of listening without valuing the importance of silence. It is in the silence where we discover how God is present and active in our lives and where we grow our trust in the ways God speaks to us. Today we will explore the practice of intercessory prayer as one way to listen more deeply to God. This contemplative practice can help us to more clearly sense how we are connected through God's longing and desires for us, for others, and for the world. I pray the following intercessory prayer questions, calling God, Beloved of my heart. But feel free to use whatever name for God resonates in your heart. Beloved of my heart, what is your prayer, your deepest desire for me, this person, or this situation? What do you want my prayer to be for myself, this person, or this situation? What, if anything, is getting in my way of joining more fully and freely in your prayer for me, this person, or this situation? Are there any boundaries I have created in my heart that I now need to relinquish? Beloved of my heart, is there anything you would have me say or do on your behalf? Making it personal. If you engaged with this practice, which questions resonated most with you at this time in your life? Is there one that you would like to write down and return to later? Or were there others that you added to this list? Here at Advent, one of the, the gifts and ministries that we offer is intercessory prayer. We have a prayer team who regularly prays for the names offered for those cares and concerns that we are aware of. Lifting those needs, those concerns, and those thanksgiving to God. I hope that you will take an opportunity this week to practice intercessory prayer, praying for the needs of those that you carry in your heart. Remember, you are loved.